Uh, Zul, I have a question regarding profit. Okay. Uh, we learn in Bolivar that uh, Emilius had been uh, put on profit, particularly in Arabian countries, Middle East, probably even in India. But we can't see any profit route in this part, but uh, not uh, American and Australian uh, continents. Can we see profit route in India? Is it about both? We have learned. Huh? We have learned about both. No, but do they call both a profit? Tell me. What about Krishna? What about Rama? What about Burma? What about in, and uh, Sri Lanka and uh, Vietnam and Korea and Japan and China and uh, all the South Pacific Islands? How many prophets did you hear came there? Then maybe make, may I uh, rather turn my question to this side? Why even those areas were left like that? All right. Add Africa, please, to the list. <laughs> and still enlarge the question. You see, the Holy Quran tells us a very different story from what you are trying to tell. The Holy Quran says, Immin ummatin illa khalafi hanazir. There is no people at no time to which God, never, God had not sent warners. And so, also, the Holy Quran speaks in different ways of the same subject, emphasizing that no part in the world was left, was left unattended by God. Yet, when we look at the general scenario of the whole world, you do not come across prophets. You come across uh, gods, demigods, sons of God, sisters of God, brothers of God, and this and that, and all nonsense. And one is wondering where the prophets have disappeared. The fact is that those people who are attributed, to whom God is attributed, about whom their, belief, their followers claim now that they were gods or semi-gods, they were the prophets of Allah. They were raised beyond human status much later on. And the evidence of that is found in the prophethood, the line of prophethood in the Middle East to which you refer. Jesus Christ is a very fit example for that. He was a prophet of God, but you know the process how gradually he was elevated from the human status to that of a God. So this is the human nature that whenever a messenger of Allah comes with a message, they reject him very, very strongly and with, with great animosity. And they say, you are a prophet, you are less than a man, you are a madman, you are this and that. And when he passes away, and when Allah gives his message, the promised victory, then the same crooked people who first denied him, even the human status, begin to raise his status beyond humanity. So all these areas which you are talking about have had their share of prophethood. Now I have spoken to the Red Indians. I have met their leadership both from North America in Canada, United States and recently in South America and also in uh, Guatemala, Central America. And uh, you'll be surprised to learn that when you probe them deeper, you always find that they had some holy people who lived long ago, who delivered them a message, who saw good dreams, and they, it was their dreams which conveyed them messages and so on. I went to Australia, there I met with the leadership of the Aborigines. I investigated the same matter there, and the same was the answer. They, they told me that still we have holy people who are told by God, they don't say God, the word they use is 
the ultimate power, the soul of things, the, you know, the ultimate in the creation. They, they try to describe a super, super being, but uh, they don't use the word God as we know in English or Allah as we know in Arabic. But obviously they are referring to the Creator. So they say He remains in contact with us through dreams. And uh, we have holy men who interpret those dreams. So these are the messengers of Allah of different sorts. So prophethood is everywhere. Why is the prophethood, the line of prophethood in the Middle East so much emphasized? Why is the history there so clearly recorded? Why the history elsewhere was permitted to be obliterated gradually? The simple reason for that is that the tree of prophethood on which Ahadur was to be born was historically extremely important. And the other trees and lines which had to gradually die out, they were unimportant because people from there were ultimately to join Islam and to follow other normal Rasulullah So it is like the tree of evolution. When you study in biology how evolution took place, right from the start of Amoeba, they draw the line and trace the passage up to man. And those animals which become links in between, they are mentioned as important things. While there are hundreds of thousands of other species which are left uh, as unimportant, their name is not mentioned in that tree. So that is exactly the similar case. Because the evolution of religion was to culminate in the form of Hazrat Muhammad Rasulullah So from him back to the Adam, that line had to be traced and also had to be recorded. So that is the reason why you consider that prophets only came in the Middle East. Thank you very much, Azul. Thank you. Now, Dr. Sahib, please. How are you? Fine? Thank you, sir. I am told that you are getting old at last. <laughs> Is it right? Huh? I thought it didn't apply to you. <laughs> because somebody told me that from big cars they have not fallen back to small cars. And you say what is what is there in, in speeds and uh, you know that sort of thing. So that gives me the message that you are getting old. <laughs> Previously you wouldn't drive a car which uh, you could not drive beyond 100 miles an hour. Is that right? 105 miles I have driven with you. <laughs> so what is happening to you now? Law of nature at last? Getting better than you? Huh? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> now please. My name is uh, from. Uh, you still required to introduce yourself? <laughs> uh, come on, help yourself. Yes. Uh, I have uh, two questions. One is very small. And that is uh, the word God and Allah. Mm -hmm. And the word God. Is this in reality is a misnomer because Allah, a really translation, I just want to know whether really the word God is a real translation of Allah. No, no. Allah is intranslatable because the personal name, Allah. In no other religion that personal name is mentioned except in Islam. But previously, according to the Holy Quran, some other prophets of Israel were also told of this name. For instance, in the, in the case of Hazrat Suleiman, the Holy Quran records that when he sent a message to the Queen of Seba, he started, he began his message with Bismillah rahman rahim so That shows the name Allah, the person's name was also uh, shared by God with other prophets earlier. But universally, it was not known until Islam came. As far as the word God, you should uh, realize that English is born out of Persian language, mainly. 